See if the person in this story is like you? There was a man who put off all the work he had to do. Even when he did work, he did not do it willingly. Because of these things, his family was not happy. Most of the time, he has to ask his family members to scold him. So this man was very sad because of these things. He wanted to do his work well. He also watches motivational videos, but no matter how many motivational videos he watches, he is not less bored. One day this man his mother told him to give the medicine to his grandmother exactly at 8 in the morning. But he forgot to give the medicine to his grandmother because of his laziness. Even if he remembered, he thought that he would give it in a little while. So he forgot it. So his grandmother died because of this. He felt great regret because of this. He thought that somehow he would change his life. So he remembered about a very intelligent monk he had heard. So one day he went to that monk's place. He met that monk and said, Wise monk, please help me. I am very lazy. That's why I can't take any responsibility, can't do any work properly. He asked the monk what should I do about it. The monk asked him, How do you know you are lazy? What kind of lazy do you have? This man says, I don't know that. After hearing that, he started thinking about himself. After a while, this man says, As far as I understand, because of laziness, I always feel empty, tired, and don't want to start any work. He said to the monk, Please help me. The monk was listening carefully to everything he said. Then the monk said, Laziness is an illusion. This illusion invades the human brain. In fact, your only enemy is laziness. And remember, you are your real competitor. Compete with yourself. Then you can win life. I will tell you what laziness is. There are two types of laziness, physical laziness and mental laziness, these can be classified. There are three reasons for physical laziness. The first is the food and drink we eat, eating unnatural foods that are not good for us and unhealthy, slows down our body. It also weakens. Our body loses its strength. If our body works well, we need healthy vegetables and fruits. The food we eat affects our mood and behavior. Therefore, if we want to get rid of boredom, the first thing to do is to start eating healthy foods. The second cause of physical fatigue is your posture and movement. When we sit, we need to keep our back straight. Also, when we walk and sleep, we have to maintain a correct posture. And it happens even if you stay in the same place without any movement. After that, this wise monk took the example of the other monks with him and said, Look at those monks. Look at the balance of their movements. They sit while sitting, keeping their back straight. They always pay attention to every action they do. They don't waste their energy on unnecessary movements and actions. They take their breath very carefully and mindfully. Then the monk said. The third reason for physical boredom is improper sleep, a person needs proper sleep to keep his body active. Sleep should be balanced. It cannot be too much or too little. Lack of sleep slows us down. And too much sleep makes us lethargic. We should sleep only enough to relax our body and mind. We should wake up early in the morning and start the day fresh and excited. Look at the monks in the monastery. They have a fixed time to sleep. Therefore, they can wake up early in the morning. We have talked about the reasons for physical laziness. Now I will tell the causes of mental boredom. The first reason is procrastination. Any work should be done when it has to be done. There is time to do any work. Postponing all work and not doing it on time makes us stressed. We don't understand the seriousness of these bad habits until it becomes a big problem in our life. The only way to solve this is to finish the work when it has to be done. Then our mind will be freed. The work that can be done today should be done today. The second reason for mental laziness is that we do not believe in ourselves. If we fail to do something the first time, we think that we cannot do it. But without working hard for something, we can never do it properly. If you fail once, you have to try again until you can. We must learn to believe in our abilities. 
We need to understand that we can't do everything perfectly at once. The third reason for mental boredom is that we don't have a clear goal. What do you do if you need water when you are alone in an isolated place? I am trying to find a place with water, he replied. The monk again asked him what to do if you don't find a place to find water. He said, I will continue to look further. I have nothing else to do. Then the monk said, When the purpose is clear, and when there is a great reason to do something, there is no boredom. If you don't have a goal, you don't feel like doing anything. That's why it is very important to move forward and have a dream and a goal for yourself. Imagine that you are carrying some very valuable gems in the middle of a jungle. You are tired, now you need to sit down. So you were just thinking of sitting under a tree, and you see a robber running towards you. If that happens, what will you do? Do you sit there or do you run as fast as you can? You will definitely try to escape from there. Do you understand now? You. If you have an important reason to do something, if you have a clear idea, then there will be no boredom. And you should not live with lazy and narrow-minded people. Living with such people changes us in the same way, so, stay away from people who are not good for your life. So, this monk, after teaching all these things with kindness, became silent. So this man also understood everything. He realizes that his laziness is something he created. He was able to change it with his efforts. Remember that only we have the power to change our lives, the future is the result of the present. So, what did you think when you heard this Zen story? We are many. Sometimes we let our laziness control our lives. But if we want to get rid of it, we need to understand it. So I think you have learned something from this story. If you want to listen to more stories like this and make your life meaningful, our channel subscribe and share and see you in another day.